Uh, what is Russell Crowe? What is Russell Crowe? Excuse me, I'm just... It's going to take some time for me to think about it. Hello, I'm Russell Crowe, and today I'm taking the Wired Autocomplete interview. Who is Russell Crowe? <laughs> I've been wondering that a long time. Who does Russell Crowe look like? Well, I've got uh, good authority that Russell Crowe looks like Mrs. Crowe's son. Very, very, I mean, so close. It's uh, a little crazy, actually. Who Russell Crowe knitting? I know what this refers to. For many, many years, people in the knitting fraternity have tried to enjoin me in their soft bosom. And um, it comes from a photo shoot I did in Los Angeles in the early 90s. It was kind of a tedious shoot and the dude had taken forever <laughs> setting up, you know, as they do. And then it was kind of like, what are we gonna do? We'd take a sh shot sitting over there, a shot sitting over there. And at one point there was a ball of wool and some knitting needles. So I did the half a dozen, dozen shots like that and they went out in that particular magazine and they've been used over and over. Even though I'm kind of holding the knitting needles incorrectly and all that sort of stuff, uh, people like to make the association that I'm a knitter. So it's been in continuous use now for some, you know, close on 30 years as a concept. And uh, here is the grand irony. When I was a child, I did knit. My mother showed me this skill, so that's how I know I was using the needles incorrectly. <laughs> what is Russell Crowe doing now? Well, currently I'm doing this interview, but in a broader sense, in isolation on a farm in northern New South Wales. What am I doing now? I'm getting up really early in the morning. I um, start by doing stuff on email, and then when the sun's up, we've been going out and uh, digging up some fields, fertilizing them and reseeding them. But I'm writing songs and I'm writing scripts and... Uh, it seems that I've actually been practicing self-isolation for the best part of the last 30 years, and I'm quite good at it. What band was Russell Crowe in? It's a long answer to this because my first record came out in 1981. Not came out, no, it came out in 82. I was still uh, a teenager. I had a <laughs> performance um, pseudonym, but after that, oh, let's see, go back to the first band, so Profile, and then I was in a band by the name of that the pseudonym. Then I was a band called, in a band called Roman Antics. And then for 20-something years, I was in a band called 30 Odd Foot of Grunts. Then after 30 Odd Foot of Grunts disbanded in 2003, I was in a band called The Ordinary Fear of God. I've been collaborating with a fellow called Alan Doyle on songwriting since 2004. Our current project is called IGP, Indoor Garden Party. And it refers to, in Newfoundland, which is where Alan comes from, they have kitchen parties and it's an incredible cultural experience. A guitar will be brought out and it will be basically passed around the room like a talking stick and every single person in the room has a song. It's kind of like a piss take for me on the weather pattern in Newfoundland, you know, because Alan at one point in time said to me that we also have garden parties and I'm looking at the weather in Newfoundland and I thought it would be better to have that garden party inside. Anyway. What did I win an Oscar for? I won uh, the Oscar for the feature film Gladiator, directed by Ridley Scott. I think the ceremony was 2001, but it's the 2000 Oscar. My zodiac sign. My zodiac sign is Aries, but in uh, Chinese uh, astrology, my sign is a dragon. And if you put the two together, my primal astrological sign is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> How about that? Now, what car do I drive? Currently, my car is a Mercedes S600 V12. Bit of a banger, know what I'm saying? Yeah, about 560, 70-odd British horsepower at my disposal to travel at 50 kilometers an hour. <laughs> um, where am I from? I was born in New Zealand in the city of Wellington, but my parents migrated to Australia when I was four years old in 1968 and I've lived the majority of my life in Australia since then, except for a seven year period where uh, my family returned to New Zealand when I was a teenager. Where's my Oscar? <laughs> Reminds me of a funny story uh, that Al Pacino told me. He'd, be, he'd won the Oscar for Scent of a Woman, was it? I'm not sure. And uh, at the Dorothy Chandler Pavilion, you get into an elevator and go from you know, the stage level up to where the press gallery is. And so people are packed into this elevator 
couple of sardines and, and Al just looks down and he realises that, you know, he's carrying his award in his hand, just naturally at his side, but the head of the Oscar has actually slipped between the cheeks uh, and the diaphanous dress of the young lady who's standing in front of him. And so Al, thinking he was doing the right thing, leant forward and whispered in her ear, that's not me, that's my Oscar. Al can tell a good story, I'll tell you that. Is Russell Crowe British? Well, um, no, born in New Zealand, um, live in Australia, but do have Welsh, Scottish, and English, and Irish in the background, but also Norwegian, Italian, and Maori. Is Russell Crowe a Leeds United fan? Yes, I am. The English soccer team that I follow is Leeds United. Currently not in the Premiership, haven't been for quite some time, and that is a sensitive subject. Am I left-handed? No, I am not left-handed. Am I a nice guy? Probably not. Am I Russell Crowe related to Cheryl Crowe? No, and that, uh, that should be obvious with the spelling. Uh, but also, I saw Cheryl Crowe in the foyer of a hotel. And people had been making that joke for so long, I just went up to her and said, hi, we're supposed to be married. And thinking I was being charming and, you know, apparently I wasn't. Uh, didn't go down very well. How did Russell Crowe become Roger Ailes? substantial amount of prosthetic makeup, a very long and arduous thing to face every workday. The fellow that did that makeup, Adrian Moreau, is uh, a fantastic artist. So oddly, you would talk about that as being a torturous experience and really the thought of it was and doing it every day was, but uh, he just made it very cool and we got through it very easily. How old was Russell Crowe in Gladiator? 20 years ago, today, not today. Uh, 20 years ago this year, Gladiator came out. We shot it in 1999, so I was 35 when we shot it, and 36 when it came out. What is Russell Crowe? What is Russell Crowe? <sighs> Excuse me, I'm just, that's gonna take some time for me to think about. I'll, um, I'll text you an answer or something, okay? What color are my eyes? Well, they're very light, and they take light very well. Normally, they're actually sort of a, a greeny, hazily sort of thing. But in many movies, uh, they'll appear to be blue. Uh, depends on what I'm wearing. And there has been times when I've been at customs traveling internationally where the guy is looking at my face and looking at what it says on the piece of paper and it, two things didn't match. What school did Russell Crowe go to? Well, I went to many. I ended up going to, I think, five primary schools and three high schools mainly just because my parents moved around a lot. What is my height? I'm what we call in Australia a Collingwood six-footer. I'm five foot, 11 and a half and a bit. So just shy of six foot, a Collingwood six-footer. That refers to an Australian rules football team called Collingwood who made the Super Bowl of that particular sport many, many times without winning it. So possibly you would call it a Buffalo Bills six-footer in America. A Russell Crowe and Ryan Gosling friends. Well, listen, I tell you what, I haven't seen him for ages, but that's the natural cycle of time with actors. But that kid, and well, I shouldn't really call him a kid, but that guy, what an actor. His natural innate timing is just breathtaking when you're performing with him. I'm really good at keeping my shit together on camera. It doesn't matter if the place is burning down, I'll still keep playing the character. And that's sort of been a signature part of how I do my job, you know? Ryan Gosling can make me laugh in a heartbeat. Whatever character I'm trying to do, he can just, like a laser, pump through it and just <laughs> and it just sends me off. And there's lots of footage of behind the scenes from Nice Guys, you know, with the director calling out, Ryan, please, just let him say the dialogue this time, because I'm just pissing myself with these ad libs that he comes up with. So, you know, our connection is really easy. We get on, we talk, and I definitely consider him a mate if he ever you know, called me or whatever, needed something, you know, totally. I'd love to do a second film with him. So, great actor, good bloke, Ryan Gosling. Uh, my latest movie that's coming out on July 1st is called Unhinged. Before that, there was a thing on Showtime called The Loudest Voice, which you should see if you haven't. And Unhinged, you should definitely see. Do I have siblings? I have one older brother. His name is Terry. Can I sing, My duties to the law? No. Can I ice skate? 
I spent many, many months on the skill of ice skating for a movie called Mystery Alaska back in 1998. And I reached the heady heights of the skill and achievement of that of your average Canadian seven-year-old, though I would never, ever challenge one on the ice. Did I do my own stunts in Gladiator? Uh, pretty much. That was back when I had tendons. Oh, the good old days. Yeah, I mean, there's, you know, a part of the function of move, there's always going to be people who are there to do those sort of things for you. But when you're working with a director like Ridley, you've got to give him a 100% shot. You know, when you get a bit older and your body starts to remind you of all those takes when you didn't quite get it right, and I'm not whinging, I'm 56, it is what it is. I've used my body in very extreme ways to make my living and enjoy my life. And you do come to a point where you pay for that. But uh, no regrets in that regard at all. That's the end of our time for today, and I hope you can find something special to do for the rest of your day. <laughs> Goodbye for now.